and all make any review. Our rating. 4 star. The new Renault Megane is practical, efficient, comfortable, and well-built. It has the measure of almost all of its rivals. 4. Efficient engines, practical interior, comfortable ride. Against. Not the sharpest to drive, limited engine range at launch, no hardcore R's for the time being. The new Renault Megane improves tenfold over the outgoing model. Not only is it more stylish and more desirable, it's also better built, nicer to drive and even more efficient. It's not the sharpest car in its class to drive, but its mix of abilities should ensure it finds a place on your shortlist if you're in the market for a classy, spacious, and cheap-to-run family car. Our choice. Renault Megane 1.5 DCI Dynamic SNAV. The Renault Megane has been on sale since 1995. The quirky second-generation model replaced the slightly frumpy and uninspiring original in 2002, before it was dulled down again for a third generation in 2008. Now, however the Megane is back, and better than ever with a stylish redesign to boot. Available as a five-door hatchback or more practical sport tourer estate, the current Renault Megane went on sale in the summer of 2016. Available from launch with two petrol and two diesel engines, the Megane will gain further variants and a more powerful Renault Sport Megane version at a later date. All models apart from the auto-only GT come with a choice of transmissions, while the aforementioned top-spec GT version also gets an innovative four-wheel steering system. As always, the Megane has a suite of strong and established rivals, including cars like the Seat Leon, VW Golf, and Vauxhall Astra. However, increasing competition from crossover competitors like the VW Tiguan and Kia Sportage means the market is tougher than ever. That said, there's plenty to recommend with Renault's latest Megane, including the plush, well-built interior, big boot and desirable image. Go for one of the diesel version and it'll cost you peanuts to run, too. Engines, Performance, and Drive 4 Star Renault has prior itist comfort and refinement over outright driving dynamics, but the Megane still handles well and is a competent motorway cruiser. It doesn't take long behind the wheel of the Renault Megane to discover that the brand's engineers have focused on comfort and refinement. Not only does it ride well, but noise levels are impressively low, too. This relaxed approach extends to the car's outright acceleration, though, with the popular 1.5-liter DCI diesel falling short of punchy arrivals. On the road, however, the diesel Renault feels every bit as eager as a seat Leon 1.6 TDI, plus its slightly shorter sixth gear means you're less likely to need a downshift from the slick manual box on the motorway. There's decent grunt, and it doesn't sound too brash, either. Refinement is impressive, and the Megane rides well, too. At low and medium speeds it soaks up bumps with the sort of supple finesse for which French models used to be famous. It's also settled at motorway speeds, but sharp ridges send a shockwave through the cabin. Overall, it's calm and composed. This emphasis on comfort means the Renault doesn't handle quite as sharply as rivals like the Seat Leon or indeed the latest Vauxhall Astra. It's still capable and poised through corners, but if you're a keen driver then your money might be better spent elsewhere. The steering is a little light and the Megane turns in more lazily than the Vauxhall, but once settled, the Renault grips hard. And while there's some roll, body control is good, with mid-corner bumps failing to knock the Megane offline. Until the R's arrives, the Megane GT is the most powerful and sportiest model. It uses the same 1.6-liter turbo as the smaller Clio R's, only here it's been tuned to produce a more potent 202 bhp. The engine is relatively gutsy, and with launch control can sprint away from the line remarkably effectively. The four-control four-wheel steering gives the chassis more bite, and we found the Renault agile and keen to change direction on twistier sections of tarmac. Engines Disappointingly, Renault hasn't launched the Megane with a full range of engines. Instead, 
it is drip feeding them over a longer period of time, with the high performance R's not due until later in 2017. However, the selection isn't exactly stingy, with a suitable range of petrol and diesel units to suit most tastes. The entry-level 128bhp 1.2 liter turbo is sprightly, and is offered with a choice of manual and automatic gearboxes. Apart from the top spec 202bhp Megana GT, it's the only petrol engine from launch though more powerful variants will appear later. There are two diesels to choose from, with either 108bhp, or 128bhp. The basic unit is punchy enough, though the higher power car will suit those after more grunt and better acceleration. Again, both come with the option of a dual clutch auto. MPG, CO2 and running costs. 4 star. Pick one of the diesel powered Megans and Renault reckons you'll manage nearly 80 MPG. Low tax rates across the range mean it's a good company car, too. Renault has long prided itself on its economical diesel engines and the point is proven in the latest Megane. The DCI 110 will allegedly return as much as 76.3 mpg, while rock bottom CO2 emissions of 96 g slash km mean it's free to tax. Add the auto box and fuel economy drops to 74.3 mpg, but emissions of 98 g slash km mean it is still exempt from VED. A Peugeot 308 Blue Ehdi is cleaner still, but in reality, few buyers will realize a true cost difference in the real world. The petrols aren't bad either, with the TCE 130 managing 52.3 mpg and 120g slash km CO2 emissions. It's worth noting that these models aren't subject to the 3% big diesel surcharge for company car drivers. Understandably, the high-power petrol is the least efficient, returning 47.1 mpg, while emitting 134g slash km of CO2. Private buyers will be heartened by the brand's PCP deals, which feature a low 3.9% APR and dealer contribution of £1,750. With a modest customer deposit of around £2,000, you'll be paying just £269 a month for a DCI 110 Dynamic S over three years. Insurance Groups Insurance groups start at Group 14 for an entry-level Megane expression with a 1.2-liter petrol engine. A range-topping signature NAV with the automatic gearbox sits just one group higher, while the most popular DCI diesel in Dynamic S NAV trim falls into Group 21. The 202 BHP GT petrol is Group 27. Depreciation Buy Renault Megane and be prepared to suffer fairly heavy depreciation. An entry-level model will only retain around 38% of its value, while some models are even worse. A top-spec GT petrol will hold on to as little as 35% over 3 years and 36,000 miles. A Vauxhall Astra is similar though many models manage to retain more than 40% of their value, which is good in a class like this. The more desirable SUV body of Renault's own Katjar crossover is a better bet if you're worried about plummeting prices, as it'll retain closer to 50% of its original list price after three years. Interior, Design, and Technology 4 Star The new Megane feels solid and well-built, and if you go for one of the top spec models you'll benefit from a stylish touch screen display. There's no denying Renault has pulled out all the stops for the design of the latest Megane. At the front is the brand's trademark diamond logo, flanked by a pair of headlamps framed by distinctive C-shaped LED running lights. Look down the sides of the car and you'll spot the bulging rear wheel arches and neat kick in the window line ahead of the C-pillar, which are both reminiscent of the Clio Super Mini. At the rear are the eye-catching lead tail lamps that run nearly the whole width of the bootlet. GT line models make even more of an impact courtesy of their bespoke bumpers, rear diffuser, metallic grey door mirror housings and unique 17-inch alloy wheels. The racy theme is even more obvious inside, with bright blue trim inserts in the doors and dashboard, plus the chunky, high-back sports front seats. Elsewhere, 
it's standard Megane, so you get slick design, high grade materials, and cutting edge kit. Renault has made big strides with quality, and soft touch materials are used throughout, while the interior feels robustly built. Everything falls neatly to hand, and the dials are easy to read. The Megane's showroom appeal is further boosted by the standard kit tally, which extends to keyless entry, dual zone climate control, configurable mood lighting and automatic lights and wipers. SAT NAV, stereo and infotainment. Entry level cars get a dot matrix display in the center console, but Renault doesn't expect to sell many cars in the most basic trims. Mid-spec motors use a landscape touch screen but top of the range cars get 8.7 inch R Link 2 infotainment screen, which sits portrait style in the center of the dashboard. This unit groups together the SAT NAV, driving modes and hi-fi controls, giving the rest of the dash a clutter-free look. The graphics are all sharply defined, while the on-screen functions respond crisply. Ahead of the driver is a 7-inch configurable TFT display that combines the speedo, rev counter, and trip computer. Practicality, comfort, and boot space. 4 Star Despite offering a sizable wheelbase and big boot, space in the back of the Renault Megane is only on a PAR with rivals from Vauxhall and Seed. Despite being almost identical in length and width, the Renault Megane boasts a bigger boot than both the Seat Leon and Vauxhall Astra. Better still, the 434-liter load bay is well-shaped, although there's a step down to the boot floor. This emphasis on luggage carrying ability means there's a fraction less legroom in the rear, but extra features such as the rear air vents add a touch of luxury for passengers. Elsewhere, there's plenty of handy storage, including flock-lined door bins and a trinket tray that also houses the USB and 1-2V connectors. Yet as with many French cars, the Megane's glove box is tiny as it has to share space with the fuse box a problem not found when the car is converted to European left-hand drive markets. Size The Megane's external dimensions are a match for both the seat Leon and Vauxhall Astra. At 4.36m long and 1.81m wide, it feels easy enough to maneuver, while also offering decent interior dimensions. Leg room, head room and passenger space. While the front seats are supportive, they eat into legroom in the back slightly. Despite being nice and wide, the Megane doesn't offer any space advantage over its rivals, and occupants will find the Renault is no more roomy in the back than a Vauxhall Astra. Boot With its 434-liter boot, the Megane serves up strong practicality, as well as decent performance and agile handling. However, Fold the rear seats down and the 1,237 liter load bay this creates is actually smaller than the area found on both the seat Leon and Vauxhall Astra. There's also a pronounced loading lip that you'll have to lift cases past, while our test car didn't have any underfloor storage as it featured a space saver spare and a Bose subwoofer. Reliability and Safety 3 Star Renault reliability is improving, while safety has always been a key selling point for the French manufacturer. Renault hasn't always had the best reputation for quality and customer care, but has worked hard to improve. The firm finished 8th out of 32 manufacturers in our latest driver power satisfaction survey, 9 places ahead of Peugeot. Renault's garages topped our dealer chart, too. The Megane has a strong safety record, with Euro NCAP awarding it 5 stars. All versions get 6 airbags and a speed limiter, while the GT line adds traffic sign recognition, high beam assist and lane departure warning. Autonomous emergency braking is offered with the adaptive cruise control upgrade, at 400 pounds. Warranty. All new Renaults get a 4 year slash 100 comma 000 mile warranty, which makes it one of the most competitive guarantees on offer. Most rivals offer three-year setups, so the extra 12 months could come in handy if you plan to keep your car for longer. If you want or need to, you can extend this by a further 12 months for £229. Servicing 
Renault offers a 4 year 40 mile servicing pack for just £499. A single service starts from £169 and Renault even offers a free vehicle health check for certain cars. Brake pads cost from £89, while owners can change both pads and discs from £199.